So step one, you'll open a web browser and go to store.steampowered.com slash steamos slash build your own. Links in the description. You'll scroll down to the custom installation area and click the first link titled download the custom steamos beta installation. You'll need to accept the terms and conditions, click the big green download button, and it will start downloading the zip file. Next you will need a flash drive and you will need to copy the files from the zip folder to the flash drive directly. Be sure that the flash drive is formatted in FAT32. The size of the file is about 900 meg, so make sure you at least have a 1 gig flash drive. Now shut down your computer. In this guide, we're going to use the automated install, in which it will automatically reformat the drive that we choose to put Steam on. Out of paranoia, and just to be safe, I've disconnected any drives with important data on there, and I am installing a blank drive on which to install Steam. Once your new drive is in place, take the USB flash drive we just created and insert it into the computer. So the first thing we'll do is boot into the BIOS. Depending on your computer, you'll need to hit a certain button. On my computer, I need to hit delete. You may have to hit F2 or something similar. And what we're going to look for is we need to ensure that UEFI is enabled clearly on my computer it is. It's a good giveaway if you have a GUI instead of just a normal keyboard controlled uh, BIOS that you have UEFI. That is one of the requirements. Next we will look and make sure that Secure Boot is disabled. This will most likely be under the boot section of your computer. And we on mine it says Windows UEFI. I'm going to select other OS. Yours may be different. And you'll just want to make sure it's disabled or on other OS or something similar to that. We will exit saving changes. And now we will get to the bootloader screen. The PC is rebooting. I'm hitting F8 to get to the boot options menu. You might have to hit F12 or F10 check your motherboard's manual or your PC's manual to make sure what you need to press and I'm going to select the UEFI Patriot memory because that is the name of my flash drive and we're greeted with this screen now on here I'm just going to choose automated install by pressing enter it is the default option When you reach this screen, you'll click continue, it will finish the installation and reboot your computer. You can remove the flash drive at this point and let your computer boot up normally. If your computer does not boot up normally, once again press the button associated with the boot options menu and select your local hard disk. When you're at this screen, let it time out and select the default option automatically. At the login screen, the username you'll use is Steam. You'll select the GNOME Classic session, and the password is also Steam. Here we'll double click on Steam. accept the terms and conditions. Steam will update.
I need to create account an account or log into an account. Click agree. And you're in. Now log out. Log out. There we go. Desktop. Gnome Classic. Login. Desktop. Applications. Accessories. Terminal. Here you will type tilde forward slash post underscore log on dot sh. I will also put this in the description. Press enter. Enter your password. It's the same desktop. Wait. At this screen you'll press Y and enter. At this screen select reboot and press enter. And congratulations, you successfully installed Steam. This looks like the big picture mode on, you know, regular Steam for PC, or Mac, or Linux. And you can actually get to the desktop if you choose to. Just go to Settings, Interface, Enable Access to the Linux Desktop. Done. Done. You can click Exit. And return to Desktop. and you'll be back at the desktop. Thanks for watching and we will see you later.